Welcome Zen, to Australia. <laughs> Welcome to me. I came halfway around the world to ask you 73 questions in a very short amount of time. I know. Thank you so much. Let's get going. All right. What's the coolest thing about Sydney, Australia? Ah, oh, the people. What's your favorite place to hang out in Sydney, Australia? Uh, the beach. Come on in. Oh, wipe your feet. All right, cool. Gee, you're excited to be here. <laughs> I totally am. <laughs> What's the best travel advice for anyone visiting Sydney, Australia? Bring your sunscreen and your joie de vie. What's the best thing about Nashville? The community spirit, so the people. Can you say the most American thing in an American accent? Oh, uh, hey, y'all. Is that American? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Whoa, That's you... my southern accent. I didn't know you play pool. Uh, yeah, my nickname is Pool Shark. Are you claiming that you're a pro? Well, come on, I'm a pool shark. <laughs> Obviously. What is one talent you wish you had? To sing opera exquisitely. What's your favorite band of all time? Well, it's a tie. Akadaka and uh, In Excess. What do you really think about country music? I love it. Were you a fan Surely. of Keith's before you met? Uh, well, I didn't know him, so I couldn't really be a fan. But um, now, I'm his biggest fan. Can you do an impression of someone? Sure. I thought I thought a pussy cat. That's Tweety Bird. I recognize it. No. Can you do another impression of someone else? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Little Quacker. Obviously it was. Can you please take this postcard? Yes. And write down a secret to someone special. Huh. What's one thing you still have from your childhood? Uh, my curiosity. Who's your favorite Sesame Street character? Snuffleup, I guess. What was it like having your face on the national stamp of Australia? Pretty cool. But it was kind of strange having everybody lick me. I could imagine. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Uh, bluest of blue. Least favorite color? Probably bright orange. Diamonds or pearls? Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Who's your fashion icon? Probably all of the women that Irving Penn photographed, but especially his wife, Lisa. What's your favorite fashion trend of all time? Black tights. What trend do you hope doesn't exist in 100 years? Texting. What did you wear to the prom? Uh, I wore, well, it's not called a prom here. It's called a, called a formal. And I wore a vintage black flapper dress. What's the coolest thing about this home? My six alpacas. What's your spirit animal? An otter. If you had to choose another career, what would it be? A scientist who was able to cure something very important, cure cancer. Can you answer this question from this man on this iPad? Yes, I can. Hey, Nicole, my wife and I are painting the apartment, and uh, I need to know, should we go with Horizon, White Wisp, or Paper White? Ah, oh, Horizon. Obviously, Horizon. What's your favorite app? The weather app. <laughs> favorite website? New York Times. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Uh, to fly. Whoa. Oh, hey. A toy. <laughs> What's the best part about being a mom? Oh, everything. The love, the joy, the purpose. What's the hardest part about being a mom? Knowing I won't be here forever, so I won't always be able to take care of them. What's your favorite curse word? Shit. Favorite TV show of all time? Bewitched. One movie role you would die to play? Uh, the Wicked Witch of the West in a remake of The Wizard of Oz. What was it like working with Stanley Kubrick? The best. The best. I mean, it was like being in film school with the greatest professor. If your life were a song, what would the title be? I Will Survive. This is such a cool cottage. Yeah, come on in. Do you have anyone be a guest in this cottage? Who would you invite? Keith Urban. Who's an historical figure you love to have coffee with? Eleanor Roosevelt. Hmm. How do you like your coffee? I like it frothy, lots of froth, and lots of chocolate sprinkles. What is your favorite food? Uh, homemade warm bread with uh, Reggiano. What's your least favorite food? Mm, ham. What do you love on your pizza? <laughs> Truffles. Truffles, an amazing choice. What's inside the Nicole Kidman cocktail? I don't really like cocktails, but I suppose champagne, peach juice. That's kind of boring. I mean, that's just a Bellini, that's right? That's just a Bellini, right. Oh, I can do better than that. <laughs> What's the biggest surprise you've ever had? 
Uh, those two pink lines finding out I was pregnant! <laughs> What's the best surprise you've ever planned for? Uh, well, the best surprise I ever did was I gave my husband a 1967 Mustang. I put a big red bow on it and put it in our barn. He flipped out. <laughs> what were you most surprised to learn being an actress? 99% hard work, 1% glamour. What's the best way to decompress? Make love. Jogging or swimming? Jogging. Pilates or yoga? Yoga. Window seat or aisle seat? Window. What's Hollywood really like? It's small. We kind of all know each other. What's Hugh Jackman really like? Lovely and as decent as he appears. What's one thing you always bring with you on set? My pillow. Who's your favorite actress? Vivian Lee. What do you look for in a script? Uh, well, it changes, but at the moment, I'm looking for laughs. What's one film you wish people had pay more attention to? Uh, well, a film that I made would be Birth. Look what I've got! <laughs> that is a beautiful egg. And a couple of eggs. Wow, this is, this is incredible. <laughs> What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done in life? Uh, jumped out of a plane, raced around a car track at 200 miles an hour, and scuba dived with sharks, so you tell me. Sharks. Okay. Yep. What's the best part of living on a tour bus? Being on top of each other. What's the worst part of living in a tour bus? The sleeping. You don't get any. Can you sing your favorite lyrics from Keith Urban's song? Well, you meet someone, the only one. You take her by the hand, buy some land, make some love, and then babies come. The music is perfect for this countryside activity we have with cows grazing in the background. Uh-huh, my black Angus. What's the best part about farm life? The simplicity. The air, the peace. Did you have any pets growing up? I did. Cat, stray cat, called Gregory. Nicole, how are you feeling these days? Honestly? Yeah. Pretty raw. Why? Been through a lot. What was the biggest learning experience you've ever had? Being in love. If you could have your portrait done by any artist, who would it be? John Singer Sargent. Can you please imagine that you're trapped in a box and you must mime your way out of it? Can you do it? Oh, come on. You're kidding. <laughs> nope. No. All right, fine. <laughs> if you could offer your 13-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? Be happy. If you could say something to yourself in 13 years, what would you say? I told you so. What's the best parting gift from an Australian to an American on a farm visit like this? Well, it would be my homemade jam from our orchard, my lavender in a sachet, and my eggs. Oh my God, you are a peach. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thanks so much Thanks for, for coming. Us. Oh, this is the best experience. And Safe oh, travels. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Last uh -oh. question. Yes? Who am I gonna mail this postcard out to? Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Nicole. No more questions.